Day. From Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Derek Carr. The Las Vegas Raiders taking on Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Washington Commanders and the Las Vegas Raiders. Stadium. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. That is the Raiders take over on offense. We get to see the man who has been the leader of this team for nine seasons now under center Derek Carr. In the midst of a tumultuous 2021 season, the Las Vegas Raiders really turned to their quarterback, Derek Carr, to not only drive their offense, leading to career-high totals from the eighth-year passer in a nearly 5,000-yard season throwing the football, but also his leadership ability. He really grabbed that team and led them to the playoffs for the second time in his career while coming out one of the toughest divisions in football. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The last run got six, now second and four. A first carry for Kenyon Drake. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. To throw, it's Carr. And finding Keelan Cole. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for a Las Vegas first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Carr. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that'll make it second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. 2021 was the first time in Jacobs' career that he failed to reach 1,000 yards in a season, but his scoring didn't slow down at all. Still finished with nine touchdowns in 15 games, and his 28 touchdowns since he entered the league are the fifth most in the NFL. In Washington territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Carr. And he wisely will throw that one away. 
Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle. And that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. From the gun, it's Carr. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. Back deep, Alex Erickson. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Commanders trot to the field for their first possession, and it's the seventh-year quarterback out of North Dakota State leading the way. His third NFL team, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders are hoping to provide stability for each other starting in 2022. It's the third team in three years for Wentz and the fourth starter in four years for Washington. The big thing with Wentz has always been staying on the field. And last season in Indianapolis, he played a full 17 games, leading the Colts to a 9-8 record and almost into the playoffs. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. He stayed afloat for a second there after the first wave of contact, but it, he, that was going nowhere. Yeah, what did he tell us in pregame? I just don't want to get my feet stopped initially when I'm trying to make a run. That's exactly what happened there. Unfortunately, as you noted, got away a little bit from the first one, but the wave swarmed him under. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Throwing his wins. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Wentz gonna throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Hunter Renfro deep to return for the Raiders. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. On play action, now Carr. And he'll look downfield for Waller, and it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up.
The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Here's Carr to throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Wentz to throw. Flushed out right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit, they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. On the counter, Gibson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. This is intercepted. Picked off by Rocky Sin. And the Raiders are going to get possession of the football as time will run out on this first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Out to Cole on the right side. And the Raiders are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. First and goal from the three. Jacobs will get down close to the goal line, but not in as he'll be marked down at the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Second and goal from the one. Jacobs again, and I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll try and power it home here with a fullback, Johnson. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. 
punching it in from a yard away. And the Raiders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. And what's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy the apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. You'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On the draw, it's Gibson. And down he'll go at the 25. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Throwing on first is Wentz. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. And he's missed now in his first four passing attempts. The rhythm is just not there to begin this ballgame. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. <laughs> A give up the middle to Gibson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Wentz on third down. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. 
Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. But not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now on second and 13, Carr. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Jacob's going to try the middle. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. And the Washington offense heading out as we eat closer and closer to intermission. Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. On second and very short, Wentz, a uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there, and he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Wentz now to throw. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Wentz again. Trying to get it to Thomas, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rocky Sin. And the Raiders will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Here's Carr. Renfro bringing it in over the middle. 
The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Six yards left on second down. Now Carr. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's Carr. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also into field goal range at the 28. A first down for Devontae Adams in his first season with the Las Vegas Raiders. Over the previous two years in Green Bay, he led the NFL in receptions and touchdowns. And he's building off of a 123-catch, 1,500-yard season. Now, of course, in Raiders black and silver instead of Packers green and gold. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Spotted at the left, hash this from 45. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will extend their lead even further. They already had the early the interception Charles and now they add three more with the field goal yeah they're in control of how this game is playing out so far you mentioned the early lead now they're expanding on it getting plays on both sides of the ball a winning recipe if they can keep this up so six seconds all that remains of this first half is the kick is away Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here we go. Here we go. The white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. Will tick by in this first half. So we have reached half nothing as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys lead it by 10 as we send it back out to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The commander's up first on offense as we begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. 
And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Here's McKissick. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run with Gibson. And this is going to be a commander's first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They will run it. It's McKissick. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. McKissick again on second down. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing now is Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Raider drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now Carr. Looking deep for Adams. It's caught inside the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. They give him a gain of 38. 
We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, the only guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely, what a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And he'll find Moreau here. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And just a yard to go here on second down. Throwing now is Carr. He'll set up the screen to Dre. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there. And they're able to pick up a first down. throw on the out route this is Adams with a catch touchdown Raiders a pair of teammates at Fresno State connecting there Derek Carr to Devontae Adams and his guys now an extra point away from taking a three score lead and that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got to push it for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Carlson now to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. This fielded right at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Final minute now of the third quarter. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Wentz. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Max Crosby coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down. It's a loss of five. Max Crosby is really starting to get his due around the league as one of the best young pass rushers in the game. 25 sacks in his first three seasons.
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Wentz. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Gets around him. Look at those stick skills. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And it will be first and ten as they take over. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Carr, a handoff here to Drake. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. Call it a gain of five, fourth down now. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down, seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and didn't get anywhere close to the first down. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Washington offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. The commanders preparing for their next possession. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny. I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of had this scenario, like what feels good to you and what feels good to your team? You're down big. You really have like one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter. But do they? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run to have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. On first and 10, here's Wentz. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. If he's their best threat on offense, use your number one cover guy on defense. It doesn't matter about size. They have had him locked up. That just his first catch of the game. Big reason why they're down. Here's second and a yard. Now wins. Open man is Samuel, complete. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside, make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him and the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. On first down, Wentz. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout. 
and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 43. Wentz to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Wentz. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, it's Wentz. Buying time to his left. Got this complete to Jahan Dodson. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Now Wentz, gotta have this one. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. Washington goes for it, but it does not pan out. And the Raider D, they get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done, they're the ones that are jubilant. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get to the 46. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. And I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to match with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And now on 
third down. They'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. Did enough, though. Did enough. But, yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.